As a child and young athlete, uh, he was, uh, Herman was very competitive, wanting to try to get it done, was not scared of a challenge. He always felt like he can do anything. I think what sets him apart from many other athletes is his ability to try to make people around him better. I would just like to tell him we're proud of him. We love him. Keep staying positive. Keep being a force multiplier. We want uh, to send a message to him that we're all behind him. This young man is determined. His future is going to be very, very bright, and nothing is going to be able to hold him back. You can either be in the pack or you can separate yourself from the pack. This is easy to be uh, average, but you have to make some sacrifices to be the best, and he's made a ton of sacrifices. I want you to continue to surround yourself with positive people that teach in the same morals and values that your mother and father has taught you. Just accomplish the sky. I mean, you're a young man. Just continue to grow. And, and, and don't forget about the old ball coach. <laughs> when I'm on a football field or basketball court or baseball field, it's, it's nothing else there but me and my teammates and that ball. And, and when, it's, when it's go time, it's go time. I don't have nothing else to think about but that. What motivates me is my little brother. My little brother, he always he looks up to me, and also my mom, my dad, because they, they put a lot of time and effort, effort for me to be where I am today, and I can't let them down. My favorite memory um, from this past year is winning the championship, not only in football, but as well as basketball. Being up for a finalist for the Male Athlete of, of the Year Award, it means a lot to me, because I know how much work I put in, I know how much time and effort I put in, and I know the type of athletes that are produced by the advocate and are in the advocate and it's just an honor for me to be in the conversation with those athletes as well.